Shabbat Shalom. Had a good weekend last weekend, coming here Saturday and Sunday. I can't wait till the time that we meet every day. Like they used to. It's hard to get a word from the Lord and hold on a whole week. So hard. Um... Well, if you, did, if you haven't been here for a while, I recommend you get some of the CDs on um, the Sermon on the Mount for sure. Those two, which was before last weekend. And if you want to, if you're really a part of this place, and I don't know who that is really, it doesn't really matter. But if you really are a part of this place and you weren't here last weekend, you should really get the CD to understand where we're going. Because it's... It's good to know where you're going. It's good to have a vision, hopefully it's from God, and to come behind that and be part of that. This is, um, this is so much more than just a service time, although it is a service time and worship to God, but we have a specific, I believe we have a specific mandate from God. And I want to follow that. And I don't know how many people are going to follow because I, I tend not to look back. That's right. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I have to follow the Lord, so I don't know who's behind me. And I don't really care. You understand? Joan of Arc, when she was 18 during one of the wars, a general was looking for somebody to lead the charge. And she said, I'll lead a general. And general said, Jen, you're only an 18 year old girl. Who will follow you? She goes, I won't be looking back. He asked her to lead the charge, right? You don't have to look in the rear view when you're following God. Forget about what's behind you. Didn't somebody say that somewhere in the Bible? I don't look what's behind me, but I press on to reach the goal, to win the prize of the high calling in Messiah Yeshua. You have not won the prize yet. No, you haven't. You might think you have. Mm -mm. You just got in the race. It's all you did. You got to keep on keeping on. And there is no room for complacency in quote unquote true Christianity. So, with that being said, that's all I want to say. Hallelujah. 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 Are you going to repeat everything I say? That's kind of scary. Kind of scary. Hallelujah means praise the Lord. It doesn't mean repeat the word. <laughs> Halle is praise. Lou is the. And Ja is Lord. Let's try this again. Otherwise, it's going to be a really long day. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> praise God in his holy place. Praise him in the heavenly dome of his power. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the blast on the shofar. Praise him with the lute and the harp. Praise him with tambourines and dancing. Praise him with strings. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Praise him with loud crashing cymbals. Now one question for you and then we'll move on. Anybody breathing? Yes. You sure? Thank you. But some of you acting like you're not. So everybody's breathing? Yeah. All right. Then this is for you. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah.
You know that song that was popular a few years back? It became somewhat of an anthem uh, for contemporary Christian music. Here I am to worship. It became so familiar that we forgot what the words are saying, but it says, here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. That's why I'm here today. I'm not here to teach you. I'm here to worship. You praise God for what he does, his wonderful works. That's what praise is all about. That's why it's very exciting. But you worship him for who he is. Praise your hands up in the air. Worship, you hit the deck. I like praise, but I love worship. I like praise, but I love worship. Some of you are praying for something, and if you get your answer for prayer, you know what you're going to do? You're going to pray for something else. That's what you're going to do. You're never going to be satisfied. You'll get an answer for prayer, and you'll pray for something else. You get an answer for that, you'll pray for something else. You get an answer for that, pray for something else. You know what we have to do? We have to come to a place where when none of our prayers are answered, He's still God. He's still good. He's still great. And He's still absolutely worshiped for us to hit the deck and worship Him for who Amen. He is. Yes. The Bible says honor your parents. It doesn't say if they give you what you want. It doesn't say if they send you to a good school. It doesn't even say if they're nice to you. It says honor them. It's the only command in the Ten Commandments with a promise that will prolong your days. Honor, revere them. Revere your parents. I got news for you. If you can't revere your parents, there ain't no shot you're revering God. And if your parents who are basically evil, what does that mean? They fall short. They're not perfect. If we can show them reverence, how much more should we show our God? So with that being said, Father, you are absolutely and unequivocally worthy of our worship. We are broken and we are lame at best. And we fall so short of your glory. But Father, you are holy and you are awesome. And we have nothing to bring you besides our whole heart. We are fall shorters. Some a little, some a lot, but it doesn't matter. Everybody falls short. And in the midst of all that short falling, you still desire to relate to your children. It says in Isaiah 30 that the Lord is waiting waiting just waiting to show us his love his mercy he's waiting he's hoping that we'd come to him so he can show us his love he waits until the disaster of our choices wake us up to the foolishness of our choices and even in the midst when we finally come to our senses there he is right there waiting with open arms you ain't going to get that from another human being. But to get it from Almighty God is over the top. So Father, receive everything I have for you today. My whole heart. Everything I got. I'm laying it out before you. We love you. We bless you in this place. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen.